What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. In today's video, we're going to learn five sailing idioms. They're very common and will help you sound like a native. Are you ready? So take a notebook and let's set sail. The first sailing idiom we're going to learn today is British and informal. The rest of the idioms will be both American and British, but the first one is just British. And the idiom is to push the boat out. This idiom means to spend too much money on something, especially a celebration. In Spanish it would be Tirar la casa por la ventana. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Tom and Jessica pushed the boat out for their honeymoon. And the second example, let's push the boat out and go to that fancy restaurant. Let's move on to our idiom number two, which is to be in the same boat. It's level C2 and it means to be in the same difficult situation as someone else. In Spanish, it's exactly the same, estar en el mismo barco. And now, two examples. The first one, don't complain about not having days off. We're all in the same boat. And the second example, James and Rory are in the same boat as they were made redundant last month. Now let's continue with our idiom number three, which is to run a tight ship. It's a very useful idiom for business environment. And it means to manage a company or a department efficiently. In Spanish, gestionar una empresa de forma eficaz. And now, two examples. The first one, the new manager is running a tight ship. And the second example, Kate has a reputation for running a tight ship. Our idiom number four is to show somebody the ropes or to learn the ropes. This idiom is level C2 and it refers to the ropes on a sailing boat. It means to show a new employee how to do a job or to learn how to perform a job. In Spanish, enseñar o aprender lo básico para poder desempeñar tu trabajo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I was surprised how quickly he learned the ropes. And the second example, welcome to the team. Casey will show you the ropes. And last but not least, the idiom all hands on deck. Deck is cubierta and this idiom means that everyone is needed to help in a particular situation. In Spanish, todos tienen que colaborar y ayudar. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, to meet the deadline, we'll need all hands on deck. And the second example, let's have all hands on deck to reverse the situation. That's it for today's lesson. Let me know in the comment section down below which idiom you like most. Please remember to hit the like button and to share this video with anyone you know who is learning English. Don't forget to check out my Instagram account. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!